Hi guys, Peter Finch here down at the Quest Academy at Prairie Sports Village and today we're going to be talking about putting and specifically putting alignment and exactly why it is so important and yet so many people overlook it. Now putting is probably the most simple part of the game. You're only moving the club a very short distance back away from the ball and a very short distance through the ball. However, it is one of the areas that gives people the most problems. Now a lot of this is mentality around putting. A lot of people get overly nervous for no reason, which is a whole other video segment which I'm going to do. But a lot of the times it's the simple basic stuff that people get wrong, which doesn't allow them to hold as many putts as they should do. Now when we talk about alignment, we talk about feet alignment, we talk about club alignment, but we also mean body alignment and how that will affect the overall stroke. Now what I've got here is a relatively straight putt, only over 12 feet or so, but even over this distance, alignment issues can cause massive problems and massive amounts of dispersion as well. Now what I've done here is I've set two clubs up and these represent aim line, so what my body is doing, and also target line. This just sits on the outside of my target line. I don't, obviously don't want it on my target line because that's where my ball's going to be and that would make this uh, drill slightly awkward. But this represents the two lines that I'm going to be focused on. Now this body alignment, this is not just to do with my feet. This is to do with my knees and my hips, my arms and my shoulders. Because every single one of those can have an impact on what happens to club face. Now I'm sure many people have seen different players, how they get aligned, some stand quite open, some stand a little bit closed, but the majority of the most consistent putters in the world will have very parallel alignment to their target line, not just in the feet, but as I've already mentioned, in the knees, in the hips, and in the arms and the shoulders as well. And the key points that you wanna be looking out for is if some of these alignments are out, what is that gonna to do to your stroke and what is that gonna to do to the overall putting line which you start the ball on? Now, simple enough, if you're getting set up to the ball, and your club face is aiming in the wrong direction. So I'm getting set up to this and I'm gonna aim my club face here a few degrees right. So this is aiming pretty much just at the right edge of the hole here. If I strike this put and I put a decent stroke on it, no matter what happens, it's always gonna set out slightly right and it will either miss on the right side or as it did there, it will lip out. Now, apart from my aim there, my putting stroke was pretty good. So aim does make a massive difference in the club face. Now aiming the club face is relatively easy with a bit of practice. All you need to be doing is using the line on the top of the ball to line it up correctly to your target line. And that should help you align the club face to the ball and then the ball to the hole. That should be a relatively simple thing to do. Now the first thing you can check very, very easily is just making sure that your foot alignment is correct. Now setting out these two alignment rods here, well these clubs where you can use alignment sticks as well, I can see here that my feet are parallel to my target line. Camera angle slightly set off to the right here for target line, so it may look like my feet are slightly in a different direction, but they are parallel here to my target line. Now if my feet are parallel, I'm pretty sure my knees are gonna be parallel as well unless I do something funky with my hips. And if my knees are parallel to my feet, then my hips are also gonna be on top of my knees. Now, if my lower half is nice and stable like this, if it's aimed in the right direction, I can then shut off my mind about my lower half. I don't need to worry about it anymore because it's not going to be used very much within the putting stroke. The putting stroke is a hands, arm, shoulder dominated action. Your lower half doesn't wanna to get too much involved. However, if my lower half's nicely aligned now, I can start to focus on my upper body. Now, with my hips being in the position that they are here, what I want to see and my forearms and my arms to also be parallel to my target line. What will happen is if my right arm becomes a little bit dominant or my left arm becomes a little bit dominant, you can see what is happening here to my shoulder alignment. Let's say, for example, that my right arm and my right shoulder become a little bit dominant and they overtake the left in my alignment. What's going to happen here generally with my stroke, it will follow that line. And as I come through the ball, if I follow my shoulder alignment, the club is going to start to travel off to the left-hand side and my putt will also start to travel off to the left-hand side also. So these little things about alignment make such a massive difference. So what I want you to do when you are practicing and when you've got these alignment sticks down or these clubs down, however you want to practice this, yes, get the feet, yes, get the knees, yes, get those hips aligned, but also try and make sure that your forearms and your arms are sat quite straight down. Now, normally, People are either going to go right hand below left, 
which will give a little bit of a difference in the shoulder tilt or left hand below right which could make the shoulders a little bit more even whichever way you do it there's no right or wrong answers with putting grip but just try and make sure that the shoulders are level and the forearms are level as well if they're in this position then right arm left arm none will have dominance and that way you can also just make a very nice stroke pretty much straight back straight through although it will come slightly on an inclined plane in the inside and slightly on the inside on the way through but you won't have one dominant arm over the other none of them will be fighting against each other for control now once you make sure that either arm isn't too dominant you can then go ahead and complete your alignment so getting the ball position just forward of center generally because you want a slightly ascending blow with your putter you don't want to be striking down too much at all getting set up getting those feet done those knees done those hips nicely in that position making sure your arms are nice and level my right hand goes slightly below my left so i need to make sure that i don't pivot open too much but my arms nice and level here ball position just forward and if i do want a final check i can always just pull this club up and make sure that my alignment isn't out of whack but i can see that my shoulders are over my knees and I know my knees are nicely aligned. So all I have to do here, hopefully, is get set up, align that club to the ball, back and through, pulling that trigger. And I know, oh, I wouldn't fancy doing a retake there. I know that if my alignment is pretty good and the strike on the putter is also pretty good, it's going to be going down towards my target. This secondary alignment stick, which is just on the outside of the ball here, this will all help, also help me see if I am pulling my putter away on the outside. Not especially relevant to this, but it's always a nice thing to check. Right, guys, thank you so, so much for watching. Please let me know what you think in the comments box below. Always check your alignment, especially this time of year, you know, when the season's just starting to get going again, people are getting out on the course again. This is one of these things which cannot be overlooked. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on my other social media platforms as well, and we will see you down here next time.